Hey guys, this is Eric18989 here, and this is Tanking Tips Episode 2, Spotting. I'm in the Type 62 here on Vineyards, and we're just going to go to the regular spotting location. The Type 62 is a very good light tank. Now, this uh, Tanking Tips video is about spotting, but this can be applied to really any tank, but especially light tanks. I'm going to go to a spotting map, and spotting helps your team in one of two ways. Either one, at the beginning, you light up their whole team and you see where they're going. That way your team can position themselves in a position that might be advantageous for them. So you can know where they're going and exploit their positions. But the other advantage to spotting is if you can keep them spotted while your team puts out damage, then it makes them defenseless. Because like right now, I've already spotted several. I waited till that super perishing was behind another bush. So I had a two bush cover before I shot one into him there. Um, but I'm just going to try to keep everybody lit up. Now, I want you to walk, look, look at the mini map right now. I am the closest one to the enemy team. So I am spotting them uh, when they, as soon as they pop out, I'm spotting them. The rest of my team, if you're still looking at the mini map, is like behind me and they're crazy super far away from them, right? So the enemy team is not spotting my teammates right now. Maybe one of them is spotted, all right? Uh, the low, which he just, got a, he just got a kill there anyways. But right now, the enemy team is completely defenseless. They don't know where my team is. They don't know. All they know is they're getting lit up. They keep on bleeding health from all angles because my team is so far away and I'm getting all of this uh, spotting damage. So light tanks are very, very good at that, uh, at spotting because of their good view range, as well as their very high camo rating, especially when uh, compounded on a, in behind a bush like this, like I am, it kind of compounds the, uh, or adds to the camo rating, rather. And so I'm starting to even put shots in myself now, and this is just a really fun battle. So uh, light tanks can put out the damage. This Type 62 can put out the damage, but this is not going to be a high damage game because the strategy of light tanks, if you know how to do your spotting right, you can be much more powerful than the gun. All right. Don't be, you know, so damage oriented that you're not team oriented. I've said before, this is a teamwork game and you cannot always depend on your team. However, when you put yourself in a position where you spot all the enemy team like that, they're getting lit up right now. We're silencing their guns right now. All right. And uh, effectively by kind of you know, holding back my, some of my shots and just being content with spotting, I'm really using the rest of the six guns on my team because I'm spotting the enemies for them. And you'll see what I mean. There's really two two advantages. There can you, there's two strategies rather. You can try to pump out as much damage as you can yourself, um, which is typically always you know the best one. However, there are some situations where you know, like this one, for example, when you're a light tank, you want to do a lot of spotting damage and. Let me show you why. Obviously, we mopped the floor with them there. I only did 2297 damage, but I have an unusually high amount of credits. And look at that. Six zeros on the enemy team, guys. They had no clue who was spotting them. They had no clue who was shooting them. They didn't even get a chance to even shoot, really. All right. On their entire enemy team, the T28 prototype sunk two shots. That's it. Think about that. Six of tanks of their enemy team was killed before they even sunk a shot, did zero damage, six goose eggs. That's the power of spotting right there, guys. I'm going to go through some of these, uh, the individual stats real quick, and then I'm going to click on every one. And a couple of them got some shots off, but most of them, they were probably just shots out of frustration. I think at least three of the tanks, though, uh, didn't even attempt to shoot their guns. All right, so there's the T-34-1, the Borsig, shot twice, didn't hit anything. T-26 E-4, tier 8 tank, zero, tier, tier 8 tank, zero, tier 8 tank, zero. Two of their best guns, really, the T-34 and the low, did not even get a chance to fire their guns. Why? Because of spotting. That my, my, me Doing that spotting was much more valuable than it was, uh, you know, trying to sink an extra shot or two there. So uh, that six goose eggs, guys, that is team oriented. That's the power of spotting. Hope you guys like this video. It's Eric18989. Have a good one.